work. You're there for most of the day, a lot of your life. But do bosses want you there even longer? As many strive for work-life balance, employers seem to be bending to the norm. But are they secretly trying to make you feel bad for leaving and taking breaks? Wall Street Journal recently put out an interesting piece. Employers are saying they want you to disconnect from work after hours, yet employees still feel pressure, sometimes even guilt when taking breaks or not being accessible. Allison, where does the truth lie? Uh, probably a little bit of both. I'm I'm really, really lucky though, Fred. I, I I work for something that I'm very passionate about. So I work for a nonprofit, the Living Desert, and, and we're all dedicated to, you know, the preservation and protection and conservation of deserts, the world deserts and, and the animals and plants that call it home. So for me, work is, you know, we don't quit. We are in 12 countries doing projects. So we're very busy. Do I think that there's always a push? Yeah, it's America. I, I think work balance doesn't exist. Michael? Uh, those that want to get ahead in their careers, frankly, are not concerned about a clock, days, hours. Uh, tell me I'm wrong, Fred, in your, your own career. I think the work-life balance motto is really should be like a, a work convenience. For those who work at home, for instance, it's really a matter of convenience, meaning you can balance both for discussion purposes. You're working at home and you can throw a load of laundry, you can walk the dog, et cetera, and still get a lot of work done. But in reality, you're missing meetings with your uh, peers. You're missing brainstorming sessions. So I think that uh, um, you need to be at work. That's my opinion.